Good morning, films. It's a great day. It's a great day. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Take this love vitamin. I have a couple messages. Um, number one, there are some heavy er energies out and about due to a lot of different reasons. Um, could be due to the planets that if you're experiencing like fatigueness, you're just extremely tired or you feel lazy, you don't have that same get up and go that you normally have, you're having a hard time pulling yourself throughout the day or the night, um, you're resting at night, but you wake up still feeling restless. Number one, the planetary bodies may be affecting you differently. You should check your um, birth chart and do a little research. Uh, number two, there are some spells that I've been um, hearing in the spirit that's being done. Something called a lazy spell or some kind of tired spell. Um, this is because the uh, the film, normally you all vibrate at a very high frequency. And um, it helps you just go, 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 get things done, get things accomplished. But this these karmics, these entities that are after you, this dark shadow that's trying to hover itself over you, wants to slow you down again, keep you distracted, delayed. Try your best not to get focused too much on, oh my God, I feel so, you know, off. I just feel so fatigued. I'm just so tired. Now, if you feel like you need to go to the doctor, never second guess that. There's nothing wrong with going to the doctor, getting their opinion. Um, they're making sure there isn't an underlying issue. I heard two things. Um, Gatorade, Drinking Gatorade and water. I also heard you need to cleanse your body out. Maybe doing a, a quick fast this week, a couple of days, a couple of hours, like intermittent fasting or a 24-hour fast. So you have no meat, no bread, no pasta, <clears throat> excuse me, no dairy in your body. Just maybe fruits and vegetables, water. If you drink juice, organic juice. But I heard a lot about water, cleansing the body. And you're going to have to push, keep pushing keep pushing because these karmics are just extremely jealous um because all their tricks and trades haven't worked and they're not going to work because you're vibrating at a higher frequency than them so you're the you are the untouchable they're not going to be able to touch you just period they're jealous and envious of your success your career these opportunities some of them have um discovered like your life path number i don't know how but some of them have found out your birth chart information and what you have they just don't it doesn't mean they don't have anything good it just means that they're too focused on you to see the good in them they use their energy for negative um just for just just to be a negative source that's just who they choose to be also there's something about your beauty your skin you may be uh breaking out um, receiving some kind, seeing some sort of little rash in your face. It may, you may think it's a heat wave. It could be, like I say, never second guess yourself at going to the doctor. But what the Holy Spirit told me was there are beauty spells being done, beauty spells being done on the film skin, uh, especially in the face area. So someone is doing some sort of picture magic. Um, they're doing they're doing picture magic what you need to do what i was told was three different things number one is an egg wash i don't know what an egg wash is but i specifically heard egg wash in the spirit but i do know you use an egg to cleanse your face your skin number two i was told to um tell you an astringent like sea breeze cleanse your face um then you wash it off and you use cocoa butter number three the third thing i was told is to use some sort of sea salt on your skin but be careful like an exfoliator those that create their own uh face mask and stuff like that you need something to exfoliate your skin very lightly so if you use uh some sort of sea salt epsom salt just be cautious and careful and, and be mild with it after you, whichever cleanse you use to cleanse your face, your skin off, you want to wash it off with a lot of water. Oh, excuse me, the, the, uh, the, it was fourth thing. A lemon. Take a raw lemon, organic or just a regular one. Cut it in half. Wipe your face down. Let it dry. Just let it sit there. Wipe your face down with the lemon. If you're experiencing these outbreaks with acne bumps, you know, if you deal with some psoriasis, cleanse it with... Uh, 
lemon. So go back and listen to those three things. The first one, okay, sea salt, the sea salt that you need to use, or Epsom salt, the egg wash, using an egg to cleanse your face, the astringent, some sort of astringent, like sea breeze. I, I, sea breeze is good. I used to use that all the time. And then a lemon, a, just a raw lemon. Taking water, cleanse your face off, and then moisturize your face really well. Do it at night <clears throat> when you're going to be in and laying down and just resting. Do it at night. Do it at night. Moisturize your face very well. Um, Cocoa butter is good. Uh, shea moisture is good. And um, it's, it's some, I think Dove has some sort of face moisturizer out there. Um, but moisturize your face very, 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 very well after those cleanses because they're going to dry your face out. That's the whole purpose of it. And then you want to moisturize it and put a little extra on there so you can sleep throughout the night with it. <clears throat> okay, excuse me. So, all right, there we go. It's Wednesday. It's North Node Wednesday. Yeah, and I'm geeked about it. I'm going to do this video, and I'm heading straight to my kickboxing class. Yeah, yeah. All right, Holy Spirit, what do we need to know? Divine Feminine, Divine Feminine, Holy Spirit. Ooh. All right, your spirit, guys, you are going, I felt this, you are going to have new spirit, guys. You need to pay attention. Now, the spirit world is connecting to, connecting to you more in this time. And the reason being is because you have a specific assignment. That's why these karmics are doing all these little silly spells to try to distract you so heavily that you miss it. No, you ain't missing nothing. We don't do that. Uh-uh. Pay attention. You may feel more of an um, energetic being around you, a very cleansing, pure spirit. You may hear more in the spirit. You may sense more in the spirit. But you have more spirit, guys, being added to you because of your assignment, because of your um, purpose. Now, every good medium must learn to work in partnership and collaboration with the spirit guys to know how and when to draw near so you gotta be intentional guys and listen to your spirit guys we have got to take time like i say to get up before we get out and get busy and start it with our day to listen to what the spirit is telling us now the spirit guys could even be in an animal form it could be in an ancestor it could be in someone that you lost recently it could you need to listen you really need to get out in nature and pay attention because there's something that they want you to know. You need to practice um, in your practice meditating a whole lot more. Just praying, closing your eyes, not saying anything, focusing, putting your focus within and listening to your guys within. There is a message that the Spirit is going to be giving you, so pay attention. The Holy Spirit has something very specific and precise to tell you. Like I say, I do believe this is a lot about your, your mission, your purpose, your work. I saw a lot about promotions. Um, I saw a lot about new careers being started. So someone may be getting ready to apply to a new job, apply to a new, um, I heard the word, farm, farm. Yeah, so you have a lot about communication. One-on-one -on -one communication, you and the Holy Spirit. Um, there's a lot that's going to um, change with your career. Them helping you excel. Them helping you um, reach your potential. Potential is when something... When you have the ability to do something, but it's not active. So they're going to activate you in the spirit. They may guide you to someone else for... Hold on. <laughs> Ooh. <coughs> Ooh. Thank you, excuse me. Your um spirit guides may guide you to someone for guidance, for direction, for mentorship. This is a season that you gotta really open up and listen and be intentional on connecting to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a pure vessel. It's what we need to connect to first. And my personal belief and my personal opinion, that's my personal belief for myself. Connecting to the Holy Spirit, allowing God to align you from spirit to spirit so you connect with the pureness of your spirit, guys. Your ancestors that will guide you in a very loving and light manner. 
because you're getting ready to go up. Ancestors, what do you have for us? Divine feminists on today. For North Node Wednesday, what do we need to know about our North Node ancestors? See, you're a warrior. Be fearless and stand strong. You have nothing to fear. So you may feel a bold energy around you telling you to do things that you may have like second guess on before, doubted yourself, you know, question yourself, saying, I don't know if I'm good enough, but you are a fearless being. There's a warrior in you. You come from, from a lineage of warriors. They're strong. They're powerful. They are courageous. They're going to teach you how to operate in the spirit of boldness. That's why you don't have to put your focus on those karmics. Let them do what they do and you do what you do. See, here it is. Enjoy growth and reap rewards. There are certain seeds that you've already planted. You're getting ready to reap your harvest. So just enjoy growth. Jupiter expanding you. Your knowledge, your wisdom, your power, your anointing. Listen to the ancestors. They're going to teach you how to do less and get more. They're not going to teach you how to cheat. They're going to cheat, teach us true strategies. They're going to teach you with your obedience. Just being obedient, you're going to see miracles. We used to use Wednesdays as a prayer day where we came together on the prayer line and believed God for miracles, favors, debt cancellation, cars being paid off miraculously, debts being wiped away. You keep paying what you owe, but your ancestors can get into computer systems. And favor your life. Hmm? Listen to that. They can favor your life, but you got to be obedient. <clears throat> Stay focused on your purpose. You got a little face break, guys? Okay. It's all right. Keep going. Don't hide yourself. You're beautiful. You're natural. Okay? You're handsome. You don't have to worry about what they're doing. These ancestors have something they want to teach us. They want to teach us how to establish and grow, create generational wealth, and there's nothing wrong with it. Why? Because you're chosen to help other people in your family and the community. Huh? He's going to teach you. Somebody here is going to be some sort of community organizer, some sort of community developer. You may be the one to go and buy 10 homes in a community, build them up, and put single mothers in the home. Helping them understand the responsibilities of home ownership. By renting or leasing from you. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's an even exchange. Be open. Be fearless. Be bold. See this right here? You need to follow the voice of your soul. Follow that voice that you hear. Go in. Make a connection. Build your relationship so you can have personal rapport with the Holy Spirit. Because see, a voice of a stranger, we will not follow. Don't worry about that. Those that try to confuse you, a voice of the voice of a stranger, we ain't gonna follow because we want to know the, the Holy Spirit. We know the Holy Spirit. What else do we need for North Node Wednesday? I hear dominion and power. Dominion and power. See, you're a game changer. You have to be obedient to change the game. You can't change the game for someone else before it's changed for you. God, I thank you for favoring them. I thank you for showering down your blessings. I thank you for opening up double doors. I thank you for allowing their cup to run it over. I thank you for allowing everything that was held up for the overflow. I thank you for blessing them exceedingly, abundantly, and above all that they could ask or even imagine. I thank you for all their career opportunities opening up. I thank you for making them mega stars. I thank you for making them mega healers. Father God, I thank you right now in the name 
name of Jesus for wowing them. Thank you for giving them the overflow in their pockets. Thank you for paying off debts. Thank you, Lord God, for sending miracles. Thank you for magic in their lives. I bind up the spirit of fear. I bind up the spirit of confusion. I bind up the spirit of lack. Open up their minds. Speak to the heart. Align them in the spirit. Where the enemy has tried to place roadblocks, teach us strategies to go around it, to stay high. I pray for favor over their lives in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus in the name of God. Saramasoko, Endariasoko, Shandariasi. I pray for an anointing. Cover them. Kandaramasoko, Saramasi, Andarabasi, Andariasi. Expand their thinking. Raise their vibrations. Give them strength. Kandariasi, Kendarasoko, Santaramasi Yoko. Every assignment, every project will be fulfilled. Endariasoko, Santaramasi Yoko. I bind up the spirit of jealousy, defeat. Kendariasoko, Andaramasi, Andarabas, Andarabasi, Andariaki. Kendarasoko, Santaramasi Yoko. Holy Spirit, guide them. Guide them, direct them on purpose. I pray for favor, miracles, change, abundance, wealth, healing, divine partnerships, the right business partners, like-minded individuals, spirit-minded individuals, Holy Spirit, do the work behind the scenes that need to be done. Here is culture and family roots. You need to go back to your roots. You need to go to your fourth house. You need to study your fourth house in your birth chart today. You see symbols in your birth chart? Study it. Learn it. It's time for you to discover some things. Maybe time for you to start a home business. Stop being lazy, guys. You want this business, you got to start. Do the, do the groundwork. Do the paperwork. Get your LLC. I'm here in sole proprietor. Get started. The ancestors from the fourth house, the roots, they're going to teach you. I hear a double, it's like a double anointing is being poured over your life. You don't have to worry. You don't have to fear. You're going to start receiving the abilities that you just don't, you're not going to understand where they're coming from. But it's coming from your family. It's, it's in your bloodline. You can do this. Whatever this is that they're telling you to do, whatever you're afraid to do, they're going to help you. They're going to teach you. Become a master strategist. You're going to level up. Here it is. Spirituality, emotion, intuition, compassion. You got to be able to connect. You got to be able to connect. This is the water element. This can be a cancer. can be a Scorpio. can be Pisces. Follow your intuition. Now, here's a square that's in your birth chart. This shows something that may be a little challenging. That's why you got to connect to your ancestors. So you have a square in your birth chart that says something, okay, may be a little challenging. You may have a little more, um, you may have to be a little more analytical. You may be a little critical. 
but it's not that you can't get it done. It's not that it cannot be done. It will get done. It's just letting you know you got to strategize more. So call upon the ancestors. Ancestors, I need you in a love and light way. Give me your knowledge. Give me your wisdom. Give me your power. Show me what's hidden. Show me a solution. Don't focus on the problem. Ancestors, what is the solution? How do I need to make this work? You may have a mountain to climb. That's why I told you, you, you can't get fo you can't be focused on the being distracted of what's what's not there. You gotta learn strategies. You gotta learn how to connect in the spirit world to allow the spirit world to guide you. Be a complete direction to you. Now, here is Saturn as our overall energy. Where you feel restricted. Where you've experienced so much a struggle. Learn hard work and patience. That's what Saturn has been trying to teach you. Saturn teaches us a lot of things. But right now, you may have to learn hard work and how to be patient. But your ancestors will teach you strategies, strategic moves, how to become more methodical. There's a method to the madness. All you focus on is the madness. Ask the Holy Spirit to show you what's the method to all of this. I would advise you to study Saturn in your birth chart as well to be able to see any type of restrictions. But Saturn is so very strategic, it'll hold us back. Then there's a release after a certain amount of time. Saturn holds us back, but it also shatters illusions. There's only a certain amount of time that you may feel lost. Connect to the ancestors. You might have been blind, but now you're getting ready to see in the spirit, though. It's time for you to operate in your purpose, your north node. Saturn allows a certain cycle. After the 29.5 years, Saturn had, he circled all the zodiac signs. If you're over the age of 29, 29 and above, it's 29.5, so that's 30 to me. 30 years old, you, you are forced strategically to operate in your north node. I hear that song, I gotta, I gotta get myself together because I got somewhere to go. And I'm praying when I get there, I'll see everyone I know. You may not see everybody because everybody's not determined to do, to do the work. I'm not talking about heavenly realm. I'm just using that song as a comparison. You have some place to go. You have something to do, fam. You gotta be focused and determined. You have a goal to meet. You have something to accomplish. You have your north node. It's your birthright. It's your destiny. You've been restricted for so long. It may still com it may still feel, feel complicated. It may be some challenges. It doesn't mean that everything is done easily, but it's done strategically. For the betterment for you. What else do we need for the spirit? North node. Look at there. Look at there. You need strength. Strength and grace through kindness. Self-confidence. You got to be confident. If you need to forgive something, forgive something and keep it going. The strength card is the number 11. That's that spiritual portal. Confidence is what I hear most. Believing in you. I love y'all and I appreciate y'all for believing in me and pushing me. But you better not be doing this for me and you ain't doing it for yourself. You better not never do that. For me or nobody else. Don't you put anybody else over you. The same thing you all see in me is in you. We all have to take time to discover who we are, where we are. Discover our talents and abilities. It's time for another class. It's time for another spiritual gift and ability class. It's, it's, it's time. Yeah, it's time. Okay. Here it is, a great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results, important communication. You have a lot to do. You have a lot 
you can look forward to. I'm going to tell you right now, go ahead and get ready because things are going to happen immediately. Things are going to happen suddenly. It's going to catch you off guard. You're, you're going to be like, oh my God, this happened so fast. Get ready. Quickness. Because see, you're the empress. You are the empress. It's time for you to truly level up spiritually. Not just relationship-wise. You have the ability to do anything. It's time to act upon all your plans. Creativity is rewarded. A luxurious and abundant lifestyle. Resources. Knowing how to network. Utilizing your resources for your life. Everything happens for a reason. Release regret. You may have regret some things you've done before in the past. It's already done. You fit to change. God fit to change the game with you. Just get ready. Holy Spirit, North No Wednesday for Divine Feminine. Look at there. Your dreams. Pay attention to your dreams because they're gonna come to you in your dreams. But you have to believe in your dreams as well. Your ancestors will give you messages, remedies. Somebody here is going to have some some sort of, uh, this is something with some sort of care with, with the skin. I see like a body wash, but they're giving you certain ingredients to put in this stuff. You got to pay attention because you're going to get this information. You're going to get these downloads, these messages in your dreams. You got to face your fear. Someone here is struggling with, I don't know if I can make it. I may, I may fail. If you think that way, that's what you're going to get. But face the fear of not doing anything and do something. Just start. Start with the paperwork. You need to release that power of fear. It's an illusion. It's an illusion. You felt restricted for so long, but you needed to. Now, God is saying, go. Your time has come. Start the work. I'm going to find a card, Holy Spirit, for the Divine Feminine. Look at here. Moving forward. Forward. Get ready for positive change. Get ready for positive change. Divine Feminine, be the change that you want to see and or meet. You are a powerful source. You are a powerful source. You have to utilize it wisely. Get ready. You're going to move forward because they're going to shift you. That's why you have this extra energy around you. These extra spirit guys, the Holy Spirit messaging and talking to you more. You have work to do. Choose your battles wisely. Don't allow people to provoke you. They're doing that to try to keep you distracted <clears throat> because the lower vibration is sending little conduits out to distract you. To make you appear like you're blocked, but you're actually just delayed by distraction. Stay focused. All right, guys. I love y'all so much. Have a great Wednesday. I know this video is a little long, but I do feel like y'all need it. We need it. Take your love, vitamin. Have a great day. Namaste.